Hey guys and welcome to another video. So today it's a bit jam packed. I have a bunch of new makeup that I haven't tried, one, and new makeup that's just been released. So this, I've got the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. I know this has been out a long time, but I really wanted to try it. This is £14. I got the shade 1 Fair. I also got the new um, e.l.f. Good Vibes Only Soft Velvet Primer. This was £10. Um, love a new primer. Give it a go. Another new e.l.f. product. Um, well, new to what I've seen, um, is the Glossy Lip Stain. This is in Power Morph. Um, not too sure how this is gonna be like, but we'll give it a go. That's six pounds. Then the well-hyped up um, L'Oreal Telescopic Lift Mascara. I actually bought all of this like two weeks ago. I should have done it then and there because the way this is like hyping up because of the whole drama on TikTok with, um, an influencer. So yep, I've got that. $12.99. I also got this lipstick as well. I'm not sure if this is out yet. I'm not too sure because I couldn't see it on the internet. But um, this is the L'Oreal Intense Volume Matte Le Beige 500 Freedom. And that is supposed to cost like $9.99. I don't really remember. And last but not least, this is the Revolution Super Dewy um, Fixing Spray. I hope it's a continuous one. I haven't tested, tried none of these things. I don't know what to expect. I hope it works well. Um, and I hope this is a Morphe continuous mist dupe because I love a good continuous mist. And then last one, I bought this. I already had the Chocolate Mint one, um, which I really, really like. Again, it's just a regular degular cleansing cloud but the smiley face it really it bought me i love things bright and smiley and this was four pounds obviously i'm not going to use this today but i just wanted to show you okay so i'm going to try out the soft velvet primer um it says here peace love prep and prime infused with sunflower seed oil this velvety primer blurs pores for a poreless canvas and features an amber scent that rewinds time directions apply evenly to face prior to makeup application once applied wait 30 seconds before applying makeup simple it comes out quite watery and silicone -y. i'm not sure if you can see that it dribbled a bit before it came out let's give it a go it's got a very silicone -y, um smooth texture going on textures like this worry me a little bit if you don't blend them in properly because they can start to yeah just like i thought I don't know if you can see that on my fingers, but it starts to roll around and create this like little debris type thing. I don't like that. Um, because then if my makeup starts to roll off, then we're in big trouble. Right, let me just, I'm just gonna press that in. I'm not trying to get any more rolly action. I think this is why I stopped using the Maybelline Baby Skin. This is what it reminds me of. Although it's like more of a lighter texture, it used to roll on my skin. Yuck. Oh, I'm not a fan of this at all. No, 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 not at the moment. Am I supposed to just be blending it in like that? Unless I'm like doing it wrong, but I don't know. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be doing all this rolling, rolling business on my skin. That is not cute. Not a fan, okay, immediately, immediately no. Immediately no, not a fan of the way it applies on the skin and it creates like little rolls of something, I'm not sure. Is it skin? Is it skin? It can't be. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna apply the um, halo filter, which obviously can be used before, can be used as a highlighter, can be worn alone. I mean, I've seen people use this before, so I know what to expect with this one at least. Okay, I think I've waited enough. So I'm gonna use this e.l.f. Um, halo filter thingy majiggy. This is number, number one. It's very pink. But then again, I'm using it under my makeup, so let's give it a go. I'm gonna be using a stippling brush to Blend this out. Nice, it gives me a really nice glow. Um, love that, I think it's really pretty. It looks, it'll probably look amazing under uh, makeup. So I'm just gonna quickly apply the Physicians Formula, the Healthy Foundation. Uh, this, I, I don't even know what shade this is in, but 
it's a light shade probably like porcelain or something i have no idea what shade this is unfortunately um i've never tried this before so i'm also going to give this a go um so yeah i'm just going to quickly apply this and then i'll move on to the next thing that comes into my makeup plan right okay so i've done all my base blah 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 all that's done um i'm gonna get into the mascara now i was hoping that they'd have a waterproof but usually on release they only bring out the black because waterproof is the only thing that works for my lashes this is the mascara that i use consistently this is the x fiber false lash extreme resist and unfortunately they don't make this anymore i think it's now this which is the pro xl extension and what I'm annoyed at is that they don't have a waterproof for this now so I don't really know how this is going to work because waterproof is literally the only thing that holds up my mascaras um my lashes sorry but let's give it a go I mean my lashes as you can see from the side here they're kind of long but just straight they're very dead straight and I literally have to use one of these and bend it at a 90 degree angle for it to even stay up right well I think that's the best I can absolutely do as you can see it's somewhat curled my lashes are so rebellious it's why I don't wear mascara um I always wear false lashes um so there's one flat side and one plump side let me go on Google. On the Superdrug website, it says, reach for the stars with L'Oreal Paris Telescopic Lift Mascara. This waterproof mascara lengthens and lifts lashes with a 25 degree curl effect. This innovative double bristle brush grabs and coats each lash individually, separating them and giving them volume, lift and length, making your lashes appear fuller and thicker. Blah, 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 blah. Um, last up to 36 hours, suitable for sensitive eyes. Well, it doesn't indicate on here that it's waterproof and that's the one thing that I don't like. Surely, if it is waterproof, it should indicate that, no? The way she's doing it, she's doing it from the side. So the flat part is at the top and the bristles are on the side. So I've never used something like this. My lashes don't work well with different, different mascaras like that, you know? I really want to use it this way though. Well, from the side, I'm not getting a lot of um, product. My lashes on the outer corners are so messed up. Um, so if it doesn't look cute and pretty, I'm sorry. Those are just my lashes. They're so hideous on the outer corners. I sleep on my left side. So the way these lashes curl up on the end, they just look disgusting. If it's a good mascara, it will keep my lashes at a certain position and it won't like dip a curl. So right now it's looking a bit funky. I'm supposed to be going out after this. I don't know how I'm gonna be going out with lashes that look funky like this. Let me just go back in with another coat um, of mascara on the sideway brush. Yeah, immediately not a fan. It's gone hodgepodge. It's not looking cute. It's not looking out there. I just, in situations like these, I don't know how to fix this other than removing it and putting on another mascara because ain't no way. I tried my hardest, I really did. It's not working for me. Um, I don't think I'm gonna even bother putting it on my other eye. I don't like it, I don't. So I have basically put on the L'Oreal X Fiber mascara on it instead, which is this one here, which to me it looks 10 times better. This is my preference. I mean, I think it looks better and I think my lashes actually look like they're out there and they're curled um so before i do the lips i like to set my face so i've done everything primer blush bronzer i've done the whole shebang so i'm just going to set my face i'm going to use this uh revolution super dewy uh fixing mist my skin already looks quite illuminated because of that um elf oh okay so it's not continuous you have to keep pumping it and it smells absolutely fantastic. Oh my God, it smells like cotton candy. Wow, that's quite nice. I hope it doesn't do damage to my skin. You know, fragrances and stuff. Anyways, let me just get going. That smells so good. It's like cotton candy grapes. I feel like it might have added maybe a bit of a sheen to my skin. To be honest, you probably might not be able to tell. The light really reflects well on this hand in comparison to the hand that doesn't have any setting spray. 
so i guess it leaves some sort of like a sheen on the skin without it looking or feeling heavy because my skin feels like i didn't spray anything on it so to me that's nice i like it i can see the comparison between my hands at least if you see my knuckles i'm not sure if you can see it like i can but this hand just looks more glowy than this one like it reflects the light so nicely it's almost like you've got a thin sheen next one is i've got two lip, lip products so i might try the both of them i've got the l glossy lip stain it says gloss and stain in one infused with mango seed butter the shine fades but the stain stays apply to lips and let color develop for a moment layer for additional coverage right question is do i put lip liner or do i not oh this color is so different to what i thought it was Um, I'm going to try this elf first, so let it develop. Applies like a cream. What I'm planning to do is I'm going to let it sit here for a bit and then I'm going to wipe it off and see how much of a stain it is. For you to see a stain, you've got to rub it off to see if it's actually stained. Now I am going to take it off. Oh yeah, I suppose. Or maybe that's my lips. No. Or maybe it's just supposed to give the effect of a stain. No, yes. I think my lips are a little bit colored in more pink, I can tell. The hue is definitely more pink. But it's pretty, don't get me wrong, it's pretty, it's cute. I, the color is quite nice, it's very light. If you wanted to make it more brighter, you could double it up. Definitely cute. I do like it. I think it's nice if you're wearing like more corally pinky makeup. I'm trying to go a little bit more <coughs> natural today. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm also going to try out this lipstick. I'm, again, I don't know if it's out yet because I couldn't see it on the Superdrug website. Okay, so the lipstick. This is what it looks like. There you go. It's a nude. I made sure I bought a nude from what I could see all the colours that they had. They had different types of nudes. I don't really remember how many colours I saw but I picked the one that might match Nude Truffle the best because this is my favourite lip liner so I have to match it with this one. Um, right so let me give it a go. Ugh. I'm sure it's the same formula as the original ones. It's just a different colour and um, collection but it's so smooth, wow. That is like your peachy nude. So like, that is a nice color, really like that. So this is part of the new collection. I believe it's the Le Beige collection. I'm assuming, because it says intense volume at Le Beige Freedom is the name, 500. So I presume this must be a new collection coming out with coming out come out i'm not too sure with l'oreal in the shade 500 which i really like so give me one second i'm just gonna make myself look a little bit more presentable and i'll be back so let's let's go from the beginning so the elf good vibes only um not a fan of the way it crumbles and um makes like little dead skin cell rolls not a fan of that but two seconds let me have a close-up I think my skin looks like any normal skin. I don't notice very much of a difference with this primer, not gonna lie. The only thing I can tell is the, the scent. It ha it does have a quite a, not a strong scent, but a scent that lasts, um, the amber scent that they were talking about. It's okay if you like, if you were a fan of Maybelline Baby Skin Primer and you still use this to, to this day and you like silicone primers, you might like this. I'm not a fan of that silicone type primer, um, especially ones that roll up like that because I don't, I don't want to put my makeup on and then my makeup to be rolling off like that. I don't like that. Um, next one, I know this has been out forever and I know this is the Charlotte Tilbury dupe, um, the Halo Glow Liquid Filter, really like it, I think the um, illumination really stayed through the makeup, you can tell because when I was applying my highlighter I could already see like my chin, my nose, it already looked like it was highlighted even though that's underneath my foundation, really like this, we'll continue using this, love. 10 out of 10. Now this little controversial thing that everyone is talking about, um, you couldn't pay me to tell, to, for me to tell you this is good, because to me it's not. 
um, for my lashes does not work. Obviously, I'm already wearing a L'Oreal mascara, like I'm using the same brand. It's just that this particular one does not work for me. I don't think I like the brush. Um, not for me, personally. So this telescopic lift is a no. Again, as you can see with my lashes, this is with a different L'Oreal mascara. It works perfectly for me. Um, so this is a no. Next, the Super Dewy. Now, after looking at my makeup and looking at my screen, because I can see what I see from my camera, I look like I have this sheen across my face, like, like, com like completely illuminated. It's very glowy, very glossy. Even on my hand, I can still see like it is very um, illuminated and glowy. I like it. I would probably say don't overdo it with this because you know like when you um, have a painting and then you spray it with some gloss or something or you pour some gloss over it, that's how I feel like it makes your skin like that kind of sheen. Um, so I would probably suggest don't overdo it unless you want it to look like a thick lacquer like that's that's the kind of term i'm trying to look for like when you paint your nails and it gives you that gloss on your nail that's how i see it so maybe don't overdo it but to me i really like it personally i wish it was continuous that would have been nice and really that would have been like the icing on the cake but still i like it and i will use it so this is added to my setting spray collection elf gloss stain I like it, maybe just not the colour for me. Um, I think if you like stains, this will be nice. Um, if you wanted to double up the layers, you absolutely can. It still feels glossy, like almost like an oil stain. So actually quite similar to, let me show you this one. This is the Revlon Kiss Glow Lip Oil. Hella discontinued, long time ago's days. But it gives me that feel, but this has more colour to it. So this will definitely stain your lips, but it just has that lip oil texture which is quite nice if you like lip oils and you like your lips to have that kind of like oily texture um so yeah it's quite nice i think maybe if i get a different color i might like it a little bit better but nevertheless i do like it so that's a key this lipstick this is part of the uh le beige range i'm guessing i don't actually know um this is the intense volume matte lipstick they already have the ones in the black packaging which are the regular regular lipsticks really nice really creamy definitely matte i like the payoff you could tell when i put it on the payoff was like there immediately and also remember i did have a stain on top of my lips that was still a little bit it was there it was still there a little bit so this covered it up quite nicely i don't have one of those um pink undertone looks so yeah i think this is quite nice if you want a nice matte lipstick it feels matte on the lips, it looks matte on the lips, and it has a great colour payoff. So this is also a keep. So out of all those products today, that was basically like a jam-packed review, because I just didn't want to separate all of these products into different videos. I think it would have been better to just shove it all in one and create a look. So this is the look I made with most of the products, minus the mascara and the lip lacquer, obviously. But yeah, this is the look, and that was my review on those particular products. Which one was your favourite? Which one do you want to try? Um, and if there's anything that you think that I should try, if you're interested in my reviews, obviously, let me know in the comment section down below, and I will absolutely do it. Again, I will in a drugstore where we sell cosmetics so I am very much able to get my hands on these things sometimes early so if I can get my hands on it I'll absolutely get my hands on it and I'll review it so yeah that is my video if you guys did like this video don't forget to like subscribe share and comment it would really help me out so yeah thank you guys for watching bye